Okay, we're at Jonathan's tiny cabin today. House. Jonathan's tiny house today. And we've got the wood. We're getting ready to frame out his bathroom today or <laughs> his wet room since it's going to be an all in one. We're trying to save space. We don't want to waste a lot of space on a bathroom. So he's going to have a all in one shower, toilet, sink in a, just an open wet room, so to speak. So we're going to see. Well, that's the plan anyway. We're looking at about a five by five room, which is kind of small. But I, we could do it even smaller probably, but we're going to try to do a five by five and see if we can't um, get something decent going here. Just make it a, a wet bath, a rustic wet bath, exposed pipes. I've got this whole picture in my head. I don't know if the picture will come out because it doesn't always come out the way I envision it. But that's what I envision for it to be. So we have all our tools. I picked up a new Ryobi tool because we all know how I love my Ryobi tools. And uh, I'm going to um, a nailer stapler. So we're going to use that for insulation, the reflectix. Yeah, we're putting the reflectix up and ceiling and walls and all that. If I would have thought about it, and I could have had this done, but I didn't think about it till after the fact, I could have had reflectix put in underneath the floor. And if I would have had the house put up a little higher, we still could have done it underneath, but guess what? We didn't. So I don't know. We might be able to do it under parts of it, but I don't think we'll be able to get all the way to the back because it's kind of low to the ground back there, which for Jonathan is a good thing, but for Reflectix, it's not such a good thing. So the first thing we're going to do is get the measuring tape out of my handy dandy little toolkit over there, and we're going to measure out a space five by five. Um, I learned a valuable lesson. I have never bought wood from uh, True Value Ace Lumber for a framing project and so when I went in I just said I need some 2 by 4s They didn't ask me what they were for. I kind of mentioned slightly in passing that, they, that I was framing out a bathroom. Well, what I found out is they have a whole bunch of, uh, you got to tell them you want framing or studs, framing studs basically. Um, of course, no one asked me that at Home Depot when I go. Um, I'm always asked the questions that lead me to where I need to go. So anyway, um, lesson learned. There's several of these that I won't be able to use for the bathroom framing project because they are so crooked and so warped. But anyway, I guess it's really my fault, not theirs. Um, I guess I should have known better what I was doing. Okay, hold it down. Bless you. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Oh, I know. Scoot that way a little bit. Oh. Okay. Now hold it. Okay, got it? Yes. All right. We almost have the one side of the small wall frame. And then we'll have to still do the other side. Um, and the other side is going to have the door because the kitchen is going to back up to this wall here. Oh, I like Okay. So. We're, uh, I, I cut these each, they're 88 and 3 quarter, because these were, it's about, it's roughly uh, an eighth of an inch shorter than these are, so that should work. Okay, so what I did is I did 16 inch on center, so I marked off every 16 inches, and I made sure I did it from the same side of the board, from this side over 16 inches on center, so that we'll have straight studs, hopefully. Mm, and I do say hopefully, because um, like I said, these studs are not the easiest to work with, but it should do the job. Be ready because it's going to bounce against you, okay? Straight walk. That's the last thing we want. 
want is a crooked bathroom, right? Oh, no, 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 we don't want a crooked bathroom. I don't like crooked, I like straight bathroom. Uh -huh, that's right. Okay, so now I'm just putting in the little support bracing studs uh, pieces that, I don't know what you call them because it's not exactly my field, but um, kind of keeps it square, gives it a little extra support. So, and this will be the wall that the actual pipes and stuff will be running through, so give it a little extra. Where are you standing, Jonathan? In the bathroom. In your bathroom. In the frame that we just framed. Yes. How about that? Oh, man. Not too bad. I don't think so anyway, but I guess we'll find out when we go to put everything else together, won't we? Okay, so this is going to be the second bathroom wall. Like I said, and the door opening will be in here. So I'm thinking, can't have the door opening too big because it's only a five foot wall. So five foot is what, 60 inches? So I'm thinking a 32 inch door. And uh, Jonathan, I have to just make sure he doesn't get too much bigger, huh? Hey, <laughs> I hold up. I know you do. So that's the plan. So we'll see because um, we're going to use a barn door. Well, we're going to make what they call a barn door. So it's going to be sliding so it won't take any space in and outside of the bathroom because, see if you can picture it now that we have a wall, that will be the bathroom. And this area over here is where Jonathan has a twin size bed. So his twin size bed will go there. So then basically he'll just have a walkway between here. And um, so that's why we're going to have a sliding door because we don't want to take up space for the door to go inward and we don't want to take space for the door to go outward. I had um, one of the studs wasn't very good for framing it. I just didn't like it, so I wasn't going to use it. So I'm going to wait until Wednesday when I come back and finish up framing for the doorway because I want it to be done right. I don't want it all crookedy and stuff. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and start putting up the reflectix in the ceiling. I don't want to, I can't do the walls yet because we still got to run the wiring and put on the other insulation. Then we'll put on the reflectix and then put on the outside wall. So Hopefully, since this is Texas, it'll help cut down on some of this heat out here. So that's what I'm going to start doing. And to help do the Reflectix, we added one more Ryobi tool and two batteries. I had to buy one, get one free deal for the um, long-lasting, the eight-hour batteries. So went ahead and got those two. And this is a um, Airstrike stapler, cordless, and we'll see how it works. I'll let you oh my know. gosh. That Ryobi airstrike gun it, stapler is amazingly easy and fast to use. I mean, I did that like in, in no time at all. It took longer to get up there than I did to staple all that in. And uh, man, that's going to make this job so easy and doing the insulation. I am so glad I invested into that. <laughs>